Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Now I hope everybody's doing well out there. I'm going to be trying today a little bit of a comparison video. We've got Asda's Essentials Milk Chocolate. Just I suppose just Asda brand Milk Chocolate and Cadbury's Dairy Milk. Now the differences between those are the Asda Just Essentials cost me 33 pence the Asda milk chocolate cost me a pound and dairy milk cost me one pound twenty five so there's a bit of a jump from the 33 pence to a pound but is it worth buying now I'm gonna be honest the prices might have changed since I bought them because if you watched our last video there was a gap between our last video and the one before and that's because in that time scale I caught the flu and lost the ability to taste anything and when I did the last video I was hoping everything was like right but I've been having some issues with tasting things where some things I can't eat properly and um, some things I keep questioning whether I can taste it so I'm hoping everything's back to normal so now we can try it so the prices might have changed slightly since I bought these so let's look at the weight of them so the as the essentials is a hundred grams the Asda Zone Make is 200 grams and the Cadbury's is 110 so when you think about it you're only getting 10 grams more in the Cadbury than you are in the 33 pence bar but you're getting a lot more in the pound bar so but does that mean that it's going to be worth it because of uh, Cadbury or are these going to be just as good so Hopefully my wife might try it. No, she won't try nothing. Gordon Bennett. I did ask her to help me with some stuff, but she's um, she's not keen today. Well, look, if I show you the... Uh, well, this doesn't have one. Why is it some things have like traffic light schemes and other things don't? That's weird. If I show you the nutrition value on there first, if you want to see it, pause the video and you can read it at your leisure. And then... We show you the traffic light systems on these two here so if you want to see that just pause it and read them I'm not going to read them out because to be honest I don't want to so, <laughs> so let's have a go at trying the chocolate so what's it gonna be like is it gonna be worth 33 pence or will it feel like it should be worth a lot more Right, first of all, let's have a look at the bar. Looks, uh, looks like some other chocolates I've seen which you buy in like the pound shops and stuff like that. But this uh, kind of smells like the chocolate you get at a cheap advent calendar. <sighs> well, let's break some off. I'm going to give it a fair old go. Snap's quite nice. Hmm. Yeah, it tastes like cheap chocolate. It's like something my aunt would have given me when I was a kid. And she would have bought it from a cheap shop. Right. Now then, while I prepare for the next taste then, we're going to try the uh, Asda's milk chocolate. They don't want you having this. One is harder to open. I'll have to uh, rip it a bit. Um. Oh. Must have been a trick of the light. I thought it looked a bit darker to be fair. That oh, reminds me of someone, I can't think what it is. Oh, that's quite hard. Right, let's have a go. Mm. 
Mm. A lot smoother. That is definitely nicer than the other one. It's got a nicer taste to it and a nicer texture as well. I've picked up on textures a lot more since I lost my taste buds because when you can't taste nothing all you can do is feel textures. Hmm, that's not bad. Right, next up, everybody's favourite. Cadbury's Day Milk. Same sort of colour on them. And then of course the old, uh, that's a lot. Fair old wax smaller don't it? Melts quicker too. Flipping egg. Mm. Yeah, very melty. <laughs> right. So, there's no contest there really. Really, Cadbury's is in a league of its own. So, is Cadbury's worth the money? It's a smaller bar than the Asda's one, but it does taste the nicest, I'll be fair. But it does melt quite easily. So, makes you kind of mucky. The Asda's one though, this one doesn't taste that bad, it's quite nice. And it's only a pound and you get 200 grams of it. So that's not a bad one. That one there, it tastes like it is. It's a cheap chocolate. It tastes like some really cheap advent calendars I had when I was a kid. And some really cheap chocolates that an aunt of mine used to get from places like uh, the really cheap shops. So I don't really care for the taste of this 33 pence one that much. If I was out and I wanted some chocolate, I wouldn't be upset if I had this. This is quite nice. But if you've got the money and you want to buy it, you know, it's it's, it's Cadbury's all the way, isn't it? Like, especially where I come from, Cadbury's is like a big staple of uh, our area. If you don't know somebody that li worked for Cadbury's where I live, then you're not talking to somebody who lived where I live. I've got loads of relatives that work for them. Even my father-in-law worked for Cadbury, so Cadbury's has been around for a long time for a good, very good reason. So that is the best. You buy that all the time. But if you're going to compare between these, which I think is fairer, it is a pound compared to 33 pence, but this is a nicer chocolate. But can I tempt my wife just to give it a little... Nah, spoil sport. But we have got another chocolate bar, it's a Christmassy bar, it's by Cadbury's that we want to do. I want to do it with Owen, so I'm going to wait till he can actually talk, because he's lost his voice at the moment. We're going to go through a few things, losing taste and losing voice. So, so if you want to see some more, we will be doing more regular um, videos. I'm not going to say before Christmas is going to be regular, because I'm still uh, questioning some things. I tried to do some videos recently, we tried to do, uh, I was trying to do some Christmassy things but everything tasted bland and mushy and because of that I kept having to question myself, is it the food that was bland and mushy or was it just that I couldn't taste it? In all honesty it was the food that was bland and mushy, <laughs> so we haven't done a video for a little while. But hopefully we're going to be doing some more, I've got a couple of plans for some a Christmassy thing a Christmas bar of chocolate and a Christmas food so we'll be doing those and then in the new year we should be doing more so if you like this and you want to see some more please subscribe it's free to do leave a comment have you ever tried these and what's your favorite bar of chocolate leave a like if you uh, like the video not the food the likes don't compare which whether you like the food or not it's whether you like the video or not so thanks for watching and if I don't see you all before Christmas have a great Christmas and a happy new year and hopefully, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.